Hello children, I welcome you all to our special English hour. Here we learn lots of new things and we have fun while learning these things. Are you ready for some fun? Let's get started. Children, do you like reading books? I am sure some of you must love reading books. Reading is one of my hobbies. Did you know that there are different genres in books? Yes, just like music has genres, books also has genres and there are many genres in books. जैसे कि हमने पढ़ा था कि संगीत के अलग अलग प्रकार होते हैं यानी कि संगीत में जॉनराज होते हैं उसी तरह किताबों में या कहानियों में भी अलग अलग प्रकार होते हैं लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ फ्यू पॉपुलर जॉनराज लेट्स स्टार्ट विद बायोग्राफीज बायोग्राफीज आर दो स्टोरीज विच पीपल राइट अबाउट फेमस पीपल बायोग्राफी वो जॉनरा होता है जिसमें हम हकीकत में रहने वाले लोगों की कहानियां लिखते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू मे हैव रेड बायोग्राफीज ऑफ फेमस पीपल लाइक महात्मा गांधी और इवन पंडित नेहरू सो वेन वी रीड स्टोरीज ऑफ फेमस पीपल दे आर नोन एज बायोग्राफीज वी ऑल्सो हैव autobiographies the difference between a biography and an autobiography is that an autobiography is written by the person himself autobiography yani ki atmakatha autobiography wo hoti hai jo insaan apne bare mein khud se likhta hai Now let's move to our next genre. Here we have mystery. This is a very popular genre and it has many types of genres in itself. For example, you may have crime mystery. You may have horror mystery. You may also have psychological mystery. so there are different type of genres in mystery itself now let's talk about another very very popular genre and that is science fiction science fiction is a genre where you take certain scientifically accurate facts and create a fictional story around it साइंस फिक्शन ये तरीका होता है जिसमें हम कोई वैज्ञानिक फैक्ट लेते हैं और उसके इर्द गिर्द एक कहानी बनाते हैं दिस जॉनरा इज वेरी पॉपुलर बोथ इन बुक्स एंड मूवीज नेक्स्ट वी हैव फैंटसी दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी पॉपुलर जॉनरा एंड दिस जॉनरा is not just popular amongst children it is equally popular amongst adults in this genre you create a world and this world may not exist for real 
it is imaginary sounds amazing right so this is my favorite genre which is fantasy today we are going to read a story this story is about a detective do you know what a detective does a detective usually solves crime mysteries do you know any detective or a character from india i am not sure if you have heard of him but this is a very popular character from india his name was byomkesh bakshi he is known as the sherlock holmes of india today we are going to read a story about sherlock holmes have you heard of sherlock holmes he was a character created by sir arthur conan doyle so today we are going to read a two part story and the hero of our story is sherlock holmes if you haven't read a story of sherlock holmes join me children you all know that it is very important for us to learn new words only when we learn new words will we be able to learn a language so now let's learn some new words we will see these words in the story when we read it so i request you to please make a note of these words in your notebooks advertisement 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 i saw an advertisement in the magazine seller 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 the house had a seller diligently 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 he studied diligently for his exam pawn broker pawn broker pawn broker he collected his watch from the pawn broker representative 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 she was selected as the class representative now let's read the story from our textbooks the name of the story is the red headed league children please open page number 78 of your textbook now i will be reading this story and i request you to point at the words as i read them and if you don't have a textbook listen to me carefully part 1 mr wilson's story when i called upon my friend mr sherlock holmes he was conversing with a visitor who was an elderly man with fiery red hair Holmes introduced me to the visitor Mr Jabez Wilson he was a pawn broker he began by showing us an advertisement in a newspaper it read as follows 
to the red headed league there is a vacancy for a member of the league and the salary is 4 pounds a week for nominal services red headed men may apply in person on monday at 11 o'clock to duncan ross at the office of the league 7 fleet street as i said this story is being narrated by sherlock holmes friend dr watson so here dr watson says that he entered their house and he saw that sherlock holmes was with a visitor a visitor is a person who comes to our house for a meeting or to talk to us so there was a visitor and he was talking to sherlock holmes the visitor had red hair now when sherlock saw that dr watson had entered the room he asked the visitor to repeat the story that he had just told sherlock so the visitor started by showing an advertisement do you remember this word yes it was one of the first words that we learned today now you know what an advertisement is right advertisement is when we try to promote our products or introduce our products to someone we see advertisements in newspaper or advertisements on our phones right so the man showed an advertisement the advertisement had appeared in newspaper 2 months ago mr wilson's assistant vincent spalding had shown it to him mr wilson liked his assistant spalding he was smart efficient and worked for only half the normal wages but the assistant also had his faults every now and then he left work and went down into the cellar to develop photographs photography was his hobby spalding showed the advertisement to mr wilson and explained to him that an american millionaire mr ezekiah hopkins had founded the famous red headed league to help all red heads like himself spalding urged mr wilson to apply for the job so the two of them went to the address given in the advertisement fleet street was full of red headed people mr wilson thought that with so much competition he would not get the job he wanted to go back but spalding pushed through the crowd and took mr wilson to the office there was nothing in the office but a couple of chairs and a table a red headed man sat behind the table he was mr duncan ross a representative of red headed league he was very pleased to see mr wilson and 
announced immediately that he was well suited for the job. He shook hands with Mr. Wilson, congratulated him and told all other candidates to go back. Mr. Duncan Ross explained that Mr. Wilson would have to be in the office from 10 to 2. If he left the office, he would lose his job. Spalding assured Mr. Wilson that he would look after Mr. Wilson's business in his absence. The pay was fixed at four pounds a week. And the work, said Mr. Wilson, you have to copy out the Encyclopedia Britannica. The pay was very good. And the work was very light. Mr. Wilson accepted the job and began his work the very next day. Mr. Duncan Ross was there in the office to see that Mr. Wilson did his work properly and did not leave the office. He told Mr. Wilson to start with the letter A. Mr. Wilson wrote diligently for four hours without leaving his place. Mr. Ross would drop in from time to time to see that all was right with Mr. Wilson. At two o'clock, he bade Mr. Wilson good day and locked the door of the office. Mr. Duncan Ross explains Mr. Wilson everything as to what are his working hours, how much will he be paid and what is his job. Mr. Wilson had to work from 10 to 2 and he could not leave the office and if he would, he would get fired. He was going to get paid 4 pounds a week. Do you know what pounds are? Just like we Indians have rupees as our currency, in England they have pounds. So Mr. Wilson was going to get 4 pounds per week. And when asked about what was his work, he had to copy the encyclopedia. So Mr. Wilson started working and sometimes Mr. Ross would come in to check how Mr. Wilson was working. This went on day after day, Mr. Holmes said Mr. Wilson and on Saturday I got my salary. It was the same next week and the same the week after. After a few days, Mr. Duncan Ross came in only once in a while and after a time he did not come in at all. Mr. Wilson continued. Eight weeks had passed like this and I had written about abbots, archery, etc. and hoped that I might get on to B soon. And then suddenly the whole business came to an end. Now, Mr. Wilson tells Mr. Holmes everything. He tells him that this process of working and getting paid continue for many weeks. 
until one fine day Mr. Duncan Ross stopped coming and that happened for eight straight weeks. Now Mr. Wilson was very happy with his job because he worked less and he got paid more. But suddenly one fine day the entire business closed down. To an end, Holmes asked, Yes, sir, this morning I went to my work as usual at 10 o'clock. But the door was shut and locked with a little note nailed on it. It said, The Red Headed League is dissolved. October 9, 1880. I was shocked. I did not know what to do. Mr. Wilson went on with his story. I made enquiries at the nearby offices, but none of them knew anything about the league. The rooms had been rented under a false name. I went home and asked my assistant Spalding for advice, but he could not help me in any way. I want to find out about the league, Mr. Holmes, who they are and why they played this prank upon me. The whole thing is a mystery. That is why I came to you. I have heard a lot about you. Holmes found Mr. Wilson's story very unusual. He asked, Mr. Wilson, this assistant of yours who first called your attention to the advertisement. What is he like? Small, stout, with no hair on his face. He has a white splash of acid on his forehead. I thought as much, said Mr. Holmes. Is he still with you? Oh, yes, sir. That will do, Mr. Wilson. I can give you my opinion on the subject in a day or two. Today is Saturday and by Monday we may come to a conclusion. Mr. Wilson had told everything to Sherlock Holmes. And now Sherlock Holmes had started thinking. He had a question for Mr. Wilson. And the question was as to how was Mr. Spaulding. Mr. Spaulding was Mr. Wilson's assistant. And Mr. Wilson said that Mr. Spaulding was a short and stout man. He had a mark on his forehead. When Sherlock Holmes hears this, he comes to a conclusion. But he says that he would require two days to solve this mystery. And he promises to solve this mystery by Monday. So children, we will come to know what happens after this in our next session. The story is yet to be finished, which we will learn in our next session. So on that note, I would like to take your leave. And I will see you all in our next session. Until then, take care and stay safe. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.